Okay, today I just quickly want to take you through um, some air layering propagation on trees. Now, this is one I've done a few weeks ago and I really have to get up on my tippy toes to show you this. Um, you can see all these white lines now, that's newly forming roots. Then you can see, I don't know if you can see, but um, all these little watery bubbles. So you can see the bag is holding moisture nicely. Um, this is done about, I think, three weeks ago. And um, if you go to the Steemit post, you'll, you'll see the step-by-step the -step on, on how I got to this point. Now, this will obviously be left on quite some time longer. Um, just to give you an idea of the efficiency of this, um, this was done in the middle of winter on a mango tree, which is really not the easiest to propagate. Right, so um, then... The reason why we're doing it this way is when, you, when you're propagating from a cutting, your cutting basically needs to be only long enough for the newly developing roots to sustain it, which in this case would take a very long time before the, fruit, the plant reaches fruiting maturity. Um, in this case, you've got a longer piece of stem that you're using in order to make your, your, your new tree from. Uh, plus you've got the added benefit of it being cloned from the mother tree so your fruit, your fruit quality will be exactly the same as, as the initial tree which is really really great um, so you can source out your better quality fruits and then um, clone from them which is a great way of expanding or replacing trees in an orchard. Um, so yeah there's that uh, but please go look at the post and uh, let me know what you think.